ストリートファイター5、right. ターミネーター5へようこそ。ギミスストリートファイター5ディレクターの中山です。Oh, wow. はい、皆さんお久しぶりです。ストリートファイター5プロデューサーの松本です。あの、シャロー。Here looking to miss. I don't care about none of that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Street Fighter 5. We got the live stream. Hopefully, this isn't in the, that screen isn't in the way too much. I'm literally like waking up in the middle of this. Yeah, we're going to be talking about Rose and Dan. I think I'm catching a rebroadcast, but nevertheless, it's starting. Marina of Fortune. Turn this up a little bit more. You may hear a fan in the background. That's just my fan keeping the laptop cool. This thing is old. Yeah, okay. Street, I, I figured. It was from a street. Wow. It's funny how they you get a 3D environment, but they didn't they don't allow you to actually see the whole stage though while you're fighting. That's a beautiful stage, by the way. Season five, Street Fighter Five, and I think we're supposed to be getting some information about Dan too. I'm just turning this up little by little. You may hear the fan in the background again. I, I apologize for that. で、えー、今回なんですけども実際ローズの技がどのようにゲームに、えー、入っていくのかっていうところを皆さんにぜひ見ていただきたいので、えー、ご覧いただければと思いますそうですね今画面にキャラクターイラストと文章が映ってるんですけれども、えー、動作指示書といって If you hear some background noise, this is my roommate、えー、これは身体器技のソウルバインドとか逆パンチからクリックカラーズまで全部叩きしてからモーションを作っていきますこれは代々受け継がれている伝統ですねこれが実際のカルチャー風景ですねこの動作指示書を使ってモーションキャッチャーを行いますモーションアクターさんと相談しながら技を完成させていきます演技をするアクターさんの他にアクションコーディネーターさんや補助役を担当する方がいますまずローズの通常技です。You're standing. Each piece called Soul Breeze. That must be her poke, but it looks like it's negative on block. That'll be good for a distance. Hopefully, you can go. You can, you can go underneath fireballs. Fire. Oh, 
Oh, it's a combo. You're so punished. Yeah, that's a that's a combo starter. Fire. But she still got a soul spiral. Wait a minute, did she pull him in? V skill 2 is called Soul Satellite. Oh, yeah. Who's so, so, so super? You can still combo in it. But they don't they don't let you appear behind her. Oh I'm gonna this could be good for some mix ups. Uh, I was wondering what that was gonna look like in Street Fighter Five. They gave it to Rose. ジノメナとかと同時、韓国が増したロールですが、神話が落ち下げて、今までの遊びにプラスアルファできるような性能になっています。カロットカードなど占い師らしいロゴで作られて、なかなか研究しがいがあるキャラクターになっていると思います。
combining my style and the classic 16-bit aesthetic together is so exciting and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Actually, I'm wearing one of the shirts right now, one of the Street Fighter Dimmock collaboration long sleeves. So, check this out. This is another piece from the, the collection, Street Fighter Dimmock. In the front, on the side, you got the Street Fighter Dimmock on this other sleeve, like this graphic on the back. What's oh, a hoodie? The classic Ryu graphic on the back. Yo, bangers, just bangers. And guys, That's a dope hoodie. two designs that I showed you and uh, we've been working on a lot more. These are awesome. You can check them out right here. Also, RK1UP that we teamed up with on the collab has made a special countercade that goes with this collaboration. And you can also get that while supplies last because they're super limited. So make sure you get them before they're gone. And lastly, to celebrate the fifth anniversary of Street Fighter V, I made a remix to Ryu's theme. It's gonna be debuting at Capcom Cup next week. Make sure you check it out. It's a banger. It's a banger. It's a Haruken banger. You don't want to miss it. Capcom Cup, Steve Aoki remix, Ryu's theme, going down. Don't miss it. That's cool. We should just Dan too. Okay, so we're getting some Dan information. Hopefully, we, I'm pretty sure they're going to give us some release information too. Mr. Karate. <laughs> ゴーでした。あの、天狗の面が Ah, so he got his taunt. I didn't see any of this before. You know, he said they announced it in another stream or event. I, I didn't even know. So he's being his regular annoying self. Unless they stay in shooter, Dan.相手を挑発するというダンマラではなく挑発して、V ブリトリガイチは地ブロックで発動できるというのが一番のコスト。通常はだから発動してコンボを繋げたり、ガードをさせてリール状況を作るといった動きをバトリの序盤からやっていた。What that's dope. But who would honestly sit there and let you charge that up full, though? First off, how far can it travel? 
I'm assuming not far because Dan's moves no really was uh had long range. これうまく使うことで動画のように通常技をキャンセルできるようになっていますこれうまく使うことで動画のように通常技をキャンセルしてさらに通常技が2つ技に連携するといった他のキャラクターに出ないいろんな可能となりますでゲームのそのエクスタ
Oh, see, that was fire. See, what was that? Almost looked like he did a little sh a shadow step or something. That's something new, okay. I thought that was something for Dan. I was like, damn. We got square head with a bowl cut. That's fire. So finally, they, they, they <laughs> at the five at the five seasons of this mess that they call Street Fighter, with this poor excuse for Street Fighter, they finally put a, a a defensive mechanic in there that should have been in there since what season three, season two really, but season three I take that. They finally put something in. Mm. Now you finna have a bunch of scrubs mashing that. Oh man, imagine the, uh, the Collins doing all that. And then she already has a counter. Look, ever since you see, every time you see a move, you, you know when the scrubs gonna abuse it to no end. But that's their V trigger; they burn it through. So I guess it's all relative. That's almost so that's invincible. So finally, uh, Zangief got something, Ryu got something more defensive, cause they're more defensive characters anyway. And it's funny how they're using Rashid as a, um, in this demonstration, because he definitely is one of those characters that just, okay, they kind of went kind of Dragon Ball Z there for a second. But yeah, Rashid is definitely one of those ridiculously offensive characters. So is Laura. Mm. I still don't see how it's gonna help against Guile too much. I mean, I see that, but I'm, that thing obviously has a a limited reach. You gotta be in a certain proximity or a certain distance for it to to do something. At least they're balancing the game. Wait, hold on. When Nikali, he, he, he went V-Trigger and then he like went back. So I'm assuming they took off his unlimited V-Trigger, right? They finally found a way to put his hair back in dreads. I doubt that's the case, but... No, I like to report on this timing. Okay, season five. New content will include Dan, the new battle system, and a balance are scheduled for February 22nd, 2021. That's kind of ingenious that they're doing that. Because think about it, right? If you filed your taxes early, as early as like, you know, late January, the 22nd is when people going is when the earliest when people going to start receiving their income tax. So they're basically timing this around when people got money. So they're actually kind of smart for doing that. Because they start processing the, um, all the income taxes 
on the 12th, so tomorrow actually. And the earliest when people can expect to receive them for direct deposit is, is on the 22nd. So they timing this around that, around that time, which is funny. In addition to the usual character pass available every season, Season 5 will also offer a premium pass this time around. What's a premium pass? Let's take a look at this image. Five characters, Dan Rose, Rokuro, Akira. Uh, bonus content, 11 profile fight theme. 11? That's supposed to be the character that they, the new character? 11? That's supposed to be like 12 counterpart? For those, for, for those of us that play Street Fighter 3. Two stages. And hopefully they give us something about Aura or Akira. That would be nice. Because they always got those little Easter egg nuggets that they always do. So at least we're getting Dan first. So Dan and the new battle system is going to be out on the 22nd. Okay, cool. Looking into delivering more information in the springtime, okay. So around April, March. Or rather, March, April. <laughs> and we thought they was close together. That was funny. Alright, so that was it. So... Cool presentation. Oh, see Oro right there. Why am I not surprised? And they got a little Blanca Chan doll right there. I knew they was going to do something. It was a good thing I waited. <laughs> it was a good thing I caught that. So, alright. So we can turn this down. I'll pause it at least. Can I turn this down? I can't. Alright, so that was a cool winter update. Um, Dan looks fun. Rose looks interesting. The one thing they, they didn't do with Rose is I didn't see her reflect. I'm sure she has it, but they didn't show it all, so that kind of worries me a little bit. But the anti air that she has is uh looks helpful, and I kind of wish they would have showed off her her super too. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like a soul spark or whatever. But then the way it was drawn on the paper, it looks different. So. Hopefully they introduce us something different with that. I do like her soul punish and her V triggers. The one, but the V trigger with with her V triggers. Um, the one that's supposed to be that's supposed to increase her abilities and weaken the opponent. That one. Um, with the tarot cards. When she was, you know. Using the cards as projectiles on the opponent, one of them was glowing purple and the other one had them glowing blue. So I'm assuming that one weakens the defense and the other one weakens the attack, which could be helpful depending on who you're going up against. Um, well, it would be cool if it lowers the, the overall health of the target. I don't know, but we'll see. Hopefully, we would have. You know, obviously they're not finished with her just yet, so I mean they were showing off motion capture. That's a clear sign that they still working on her. But um for what they show, I'm definitely excited for for whatever. Uh I guess in the spring that's when they're gonna reveal more about her and give us some information on on Oro. They said a character profile for eleven was gonna be in that um that season pass. Which I don't understand why they would give Eleven a character profile. Now, for those of you, for, again, for those of us who play Street Fighter Three: Fight for the Future, or think just Street Fighter Three, period. Um, you know, there was a character on there called Twelve, and he was kind of like a an experiment that could like shape shift. He was a fighter that could shape shift. Um, and he was almost like a a rubber man you know he could turn into different people depending on the 
the super that you gave him. One of his supers was able to, um, you know, in this in the Street Fighter Three, every character had like three supers, and one of his was being able to, well, they had multiple supers, and one of his was being able to, to actually copy the character that he's going against. So I don't know. I would like to think that Eleven isn't the character that they were talking about. Because that, that, that would be kind of like boring, to be honest with you, because it looked like they kind of spoiled it, though, but hopefully that's not the case. So I'm looking forward to whatever information they have on Oro coming up in the spring, along with whatever information they have on Rose. So hopefully they show more of her. But it was a good broadcast, man. So I liked it. Dan looks very promising. Hopefully in the right hands, he could become a real threat. Um, I liked how they impl they implemented his taunts. It still gives Dan that trollish characteristic that we all know him for, and um, but it looked like he could be taken more seriously in Street Fighter Five, which is kind of crazy to say because he's Dan. You know, he was always a joke character, but that's cool. So that's it. That's my reaction to the winter update. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, I enjoyed it, and um, see you guys later. Until next time. Peace.